I'm Steph Smith, CEO of Beat VM here, and I've been getting a lot of questions about something that I talk about in my book, and actually books, and my online course, which is the half nose, half mouth breath. So a lot of people have been coming to me and asking me, what is the benefit of doing this half nose, half mouth breath? And am I even doing it right? <laughs> is kind of the question. And so the benefit of the half nose, half mouth breath is that it is a gateway into breathing through the mouth properly. So all day long, we are breathing through our nose. We're not even thinking about it. It's the healthiest way, the most relaxed way for us to breathe. And when we go to play our instruments, we do the complete opposite. We breathe in straight through the mouth and if we are having a really nice and healthy breath, actually air is coming in through the nose and the mouth because all of your pathways are open, your nasal cavity and your mouth and your throat. Something serious is going on. I hope everyone's okay. And so anyway, so I use the half nose, half mouth breath as a gateway in between your natural healthy breath and something that is maybe a little bit more unnatural because we're not breathing through our mouths all the time. And if you are, then you're probably not very healthy and you probably need to go get that checked out. Maybe with an ear, nose, and throat doctor, your sinuses may be clogged, you may have a deviated symptom, or your tonsils and adenoids are not working as well. So that may be something that you can get checked out if you are primarily breathing in through your mouth. And I would highly suggest getting it checked out because it's really not healthy because our nose actually has all the little uh, hairs in there that filter out the impurities in the air that we breathe. So it's really important. So if you're breathing in through your mouth all the time, you're probably getting sick more than other people. And you know, it could just be really detrimental to your health. That is a sidetrack, but sidetrack story, but it is equally as helpful to know how to breathe in through your nose when playing your instrument because it is our most relaxed state. And if we're breathing in our most relaxed state, you are less likely to trigger the Valsalva maneuver. And if you don't know what the Valsalva maneuver is, I've done a lot of videos about this exact topic. I will link them below. But essentially, it is a reflex that can trap air inside of your body. So you go to play something that you're maybe stressed out by and maybe you're in an audition setting and you're going to play uh, Siegfried's short call. Dum -dum -dum -dum. But what comes out is actually <gasps> nothing or <gasps> da -da -da -da. it just, it's not great. You're holding your breath, things come out explosive or you can get a stutter. It's really, it's just not good. <laughs> so that is the Valsalva maneuver. And if we're breathing healthily, then, and in a relaxed way, then that's less likely to be being triggered. And the half nose, half mouth breath is kind of a gateway to playing as if you were breathing in through your nose, <laughs> but you're actually breathing in through your mouth. So what, in terms of relaxation. So what you're gonna do is you are first going to experience a healthy breath through the nose. So we do this all the time. There's no reason to overthink this, but just for, to get the best effect of this, we're gonna lower the back of our tongue first. So you're gonna place the tip of your tongue on the back of your, right behind the back of your teeth, the alveolar ridge, that little bumpy section. You're gonna place the tip of the tongue there and then you're just gonna let the back of it fall down. Okay, now you're gonna breathe in through the nose. And as you're breathing in through the nose, I want you to feel your rib cage expanding. Okay, so I could see in my video that my chest expanded. That is a really good thing. You could also put your hands on, the, on your rib cage here, your lower rib cage and really feel the ribs swinging out. So that is what we are looking for all of the time when we are breathing. Now, unfortunately, because of different pedagogical ideas, when we breathe in through our mouths, it's not 
necessarily as efficient. So we need to figure out how we can get that relaxed feeling with that swinging of the rib cage in and out but when we're breathing in through our mouth. So that is why I have the half nose, half mouth breath as a gateway. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna start breathing in through the nose and then halfway through just pop your jaw open, okay? And so I talked about the tongue a little bit, right? So originally I had you having the tongue at the tip of your mouth or at the roof of your mouth, the alveolar ridge. Now I'm gonna just ask you to let it fall down so that the back is really relaxed, but and also the tip is really relaxed now too. So now you're gonna breathe in, halfway through the nose, and then halfway through, just pop your jaw open. Okay, so that is as simple as it gets for the half nose, half mouth breath. You'll find that it is still pretty relaxed in comparison to how you may be habitually playing your instrument. So that's a fun tip to, to give a try out. And I hope that this was helpful to the people that were asking me about the half nose, half mouth breath. It is really just a gateway so that you can feel what it's like to have a relaxed breath halfway in through the nose and halfway in through the mouth. And eventually you're going to be breathing like that through the mouth with both airways open your nasal cavity and your mouth so that is what we got today all right i hope that this was helpful if you are in need of any resources you can visit my website it's www.beatvm.com if you've ever experienced a valsalva maneuver or say you were in your last audition and all of a sudden you were getting stuck and you were chipping the the beginnings of all of your excerpts that is a a telltale sign that something's not right and so you should really get that checked out and check out my website I have a lot of resources I have some free resources on there I have a uh, seminar that's pretty in-depth on there that's a really good place to start but if you're just like ugh, I want to cut to the chase you should just go ahead and get my online course because it has literally everything and if you're not if you want to test it out a little bit my books are really good as well so if you want to get down to the chase i would definitely do the online course but if you're like oh i don't know if this is that serious then i would just go for the books instead all right so i hope this was helpful i will see you next time all right bye <laughs>